One of the things I really want to do in this course is to teach you over time how it is that you make something on the web look really, really professional. But in order for me to do that, sometimes I have to point out um, some of the mistakes that have been made by my colleagues. So I always need to um, make sure I pick out somebody that I know will forgive me. And um, I know Jane Kleiman will forgive me. In fact, Jane does so many great things. Right now we're looking at a posted assignment that she's made available digitally in her class. And as I scroll down, I think the formatting of this page looks really, really great. And um, you'll notice that when we get down just a little bit farther, and in particular, I'm looking at this area right here, I'll highlight it for you. You'll notice that there is a radical change in the font type. And as much as you possibly can, you want to pick a font type and stick with it in Moodle, especially within a given page. Maybe you'd vary by on two different pages. Um, that's maybe forgivable or whatever, but um, this is really stands out as sort of an unprofessional look. Well, one of the ways that this can happen is if you copy, let's say you're um, creating this page and then you go to the web and you copy something and then you come back in here and paste it, it actually pastes the formatting such as font size, font type as well. And I think that's how this occurred. So, um, I want to show you some techniques for avoiding the uh, mishaps where font just looks like it totally doesn't belong on a page. I was about to make an entry in my glossary for this class about what breadcrumbs are. And so I decided, well, instead of me writing that from scratch, I would go and find a web resource and then give credit to that web resource. But what I really wanted to do is just copy this whole thing. So I copy this. However, command C to copy. If I go back here and paste it in here, I will have exactly the same font from the source that I copied it in. However, I do not know if this is going to match the font type of my previous entries into my glossary. And this, I believe, is a hot link, and I don't necessarily want that to be a hot link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, double click on that and just break that hot link. But what you could do if you wanted to before you paste from another resource, so I'm actually going to delete all this. And if I really want to make sure I got rid of it, I go into the HTML and yes, all the coding is gone. But if you're pasting from another source, what you can do is you can click on one of these two icons right here. So you place you paste it without the formatting. So if I click here, you'll notice that that becomes a little bit yellow. When that's yellow, if you paste your um, text, it's going to remove the formatting. You'll be able to see that because that blue um, piece of text is not there. The italicized is not there. So it really strips the formatting um, be before you paste it. And that can be a very, very good thing because then the text is going to match the text of the default Moodle theme and it's going to look more professional. So I really advise that you click on this icon, make it yellow, and then paste your text. And then if you decide, hey, I want to make this an italicized word, you know, you could go in and do a little bit of your formatting on your own. But at least it's not going to um, vary greatly from the other text on your page. Here I could show you again, if I go down here and let's say I go to Jane's, um, Jane's little bulleted list here and if I copy that and I go back if I don't have this icon highlighted and I paste look how weird that looks I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna go into full screen mode so that you can see it totally doesn't fit with this page however I'm gonna undo that I'm gonna paste it again and this time I'm going to paste it in plain text and now if I wanted the bullets I could just highlight them and go to my text formatting menu and it's just gonna look a lot more crisp a lot more clean so um, don't hesitate to paste as plain text and avoid um, avoid I don't know I'm stumbling on my word here um, text disasters